now that we have a good understanding of what a vector is and we can draw them, let's talk about operations on them. Um, we'll have one special vector first, the zero vector. Um, we'll write it with a zero um, with an arrow on top. And in our n, the zero vector will be the vector with only zero components. So here I have n zeros. All right, let's define operations now. Um, I'm going to start with two vectors. I have v here, which has components v1, vn. I have w, which has components w1, wn. So they are both vectors in Rn. And I have k, which is a real number. When I write minus v, I'm going to call it the inverse of v. And its component are just minus the component of v. So geometrically, what we're doing is we're taking a vector with the same length as v, but we're flipping the direction, so opposite direction. So if I start here, same length, opposite direction, that's what minus v is. Like we saw on the, in the first video, a scalar multiple, something like 2v, here I write kv. Um, to get this one, all you have to do is multiply the components of v by k, like this. Now, depending on k geometrically, it will mean different things. Um, for example, here, if I have a k that's bigger than 1, I'm going to be stretching the vector. If it's between 0 and 1, I'm going to be shrinking it. And then for negative ones, I'm going to be doing the same thing, but to the inverse. So k less than minus 1 is stretching the inverse, and k between minus 1 and 0 is shrinking the inverse. So here, if this is v, if I look here, v is being stretched to something three times as long. So this one is 3v. Now in the second case here, the vector is going the opposite way. So let's erase it. Um, it's going the opposite way. So I will put a minus to say it's the opposite way of length 2. So minus 2v. All right, and then the sum of v and w, we saw what to do here. We just take the components and add them to the corresponding components. Um, up, 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 vn plus wn. Um, geometrically, this is very interesting. Uh, we can picture the sum in two different ways. So the first one is tip to tell. This is a lot like um, the one we had on the first page. I'm going to start at the start of v, and I want to do both displacement. So I would first do the v displacement, and then walk around along w, and the total displacement, that will be v plus w. So we call this tip to tail because we're placing the tip of V and the tail of W together. There's another way of seeing that same factor V plus W. So if I place V and W starting at the same point, um, I could draw a parallelogram like we did um, when we drew vectors in 2D and in 3D. And if I place the vector that I have over here, it's going to be the diagonal. So this is called the parallelogram rule. If I put v and w, we'll call it a tail to tail, the two tails together, then v plus w would be the diagonal of the parallelogram that starts at the same point. All right, so that's the sum. Uh, for a difference, we would take the difference of the components. So that's it. Uh, geometrically, let's look at what this means. Uh, when I write v minus w, you can think of v plus minus w. So in this picture, if I start by first flipping w, I'm 
like this. Then V and minus W are tip to tail, and I could take V first and then minus W, and I'll land over here at V minus W. All right, so you can do tip to tail with V and minus W. Now, if we go back to a parallelogram, that purple arrow would fit nicely over here. And so this is V minus W. It's the other diagonal of the parallelogram. And one way to think of this that I like is if I start at this point, I follow W backwards, hence the minus W, and V forward. And so I get minus W plus V or V minus W. 